Hello everybody, welcome to day one of the how to build your business without a website class. We're very excited for you to be here. This is going to be a 10 day class where you are going to be exposed to ideas and we're going to be learning how to implement those ideas in this very short period of time. And we just want you to know at the end of this class, there is a, a, a deep dive into this process following the 10 days where we go into this for 30 days and start to produce some results. Okay, so of course in 10 days, who knows, you could produce results in 10 days, I don't know, but the key point here I want you to focus on is understanding the exposure you're getting um, to how to create a sales environment for your customers um, to take the effort you're putting into social media and actually create more income. Um, and also, we're going to expose you to some, some branding ideas. We're going to teach you how to um, um, and get involved in the marketplace that you're in without paid ads. Um, we're gonna teach you how to take those relationships you're building and invite them to the next step with you because that's what they're really waiting for. Um, what we wanna show you here is how you can capture the people that you're working with and invite them into an email list where you're now starting to provide more value for them, to create more conversation, um, and to, to build more of an environment where you're solving their problems through selling them a solution to that problem, okay? Um, for those of you that might have a little bit of anxiety around the process of sales, I really recommend Jensen Chero's books. Um, one of them specifically is You Are a Badass at Making Money. And this is where you can um, really overcome understanding that what you provide online and what you offer in, as far as um, money goes and exchange of money for services you provide is welcomed by your customers, by your clients. They are looking for solutions to their problems. And that's what we're gonna identify here in this class is where you can go out and we're gonna research what is the marketplace saying to you? What do they need help from you? Um, and how can you be the one to provide that, right? Uh, we're gonna show you how without a fancy website, you can create a simple funnel system um, to invite people, like I said, to that next step with you. And from there, you're going to be able to build a community and you're going to be able to sift through the right customers that wanna hear your message, that need what you're saying and need the offers you're providing. Now, for those of you that um, have, you know, have felt that it's frustrating to be out on social media posting and it's frustrating to build up your network and have people liking and commenting on your posts, but it doesn't seem to get them into Messenger um, on Facebook anyway, or Instagram Messenger, or whatever platform you're on. I mean, all of them have a messaging, a messaging op opportunity, right? Um, if you're frustrated that the people are engaging with it, but it doesn't seem like they're taking that next step to click on your link and to ask you to buy your products, this is going to help you to actually put the offers in front of them based on permission marketing. Because sometimes we feel like by offering something on our social media platforms that we're gonna turn people off. And what I wanna do here is show you how it's not a turn off if you do it the correct way. And we're going to learn that you're gonna be exposed to a lot of things over these 10 days. And I just want you to keep an open mind and understand that some of the ideas you might have heard and some of the ideas you've never heard before and it blows your mind, okay? If it blows your mind enough where you're thinking, I could not possibly do this, I wanna reassure you that if somebody like me who's terrified of technology, who put off technology for a couple of years can learn it, so can you. If you are really excited about what you're offering and what you're doing, you're gonna be the person who is gonna go out there and, and become a resource. And this is gonna be so fun for you because you're gonna be able to create more solutions for your audience and you're gonna be out there on the hunt looking for people like, who can I help, who can I help? How can I create something that is gonna solve their problem? How can I create an offer that helps them? Instead of thinking to yourself, oh man, maybe they won't like me, maybe they won't buy my thing. 
How can I get them to buy my thing? I wish they would buy my thing. How do I ask for them to buy my thing? And you're stressed over it constantly. By permission marketing, you're, in, you're, you're sending out a signal to that perfect customer using language that speaks to them. We're gonna talk about that. Speaks to them and has them saying, yes, I want to come in. I wanna hang out with you. I wanna hear about the ideas that you have. What solutions do you have for me? People are looking for solutions and you might as well be that person to provide the solution for them. So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna go over these ideas, but I want you to know that if you haven't quite built that network yet, we are going to give you some ideas on how to start to create that network and build the people, the list of people funneling in towards you that want to hear what you have to say. Um, after this 10 day class, you will have an opportunity to work with us beyond. And we will you know, expose you to some branding concepts. We will teach you how to build out a, a legacy follow-up series is what it's called in your email so that you can um, create your ideas on automation so that you are, you're, you're creating some content one time and it goes out automatically to your audience, okay? So doesn't that sound exciting, you guys? Automation, can you imagine you having automation in your business? And we're not talking like fancy pants technology here, we're talking simple technology that you can actually navigate, okay? So past the 30 days, past the 10 days, you have 30, you will have 30 days with us um, to learn how to, to do more. We're not gonna leave you out in the wind and being like, hey, look at this, there's 10 days of um, awesome information. Good luck with that. No, we are going to be there for you to show you how to do it step by step by step. And we'll actually even show you um, where you can find more information on your own based on your business and what your business is doing, the direction that it's going. So first things first, what we wanna do here is we're going to start to um, create and decide what, what are we going to do? What are we going to build? What solution are we going to provide, okay? And the first thing we have to do is we have to identify what are our interests and skills. This is something I go over in my branding course. So the, for those of you that have taken my branding course before, you've had these questions answered before or asked of you before. So this is what's helped you to identify who your network is. Um, so we're going to go for over it again because I want you to get really clear on it. I want you to get so clear on who do you want to help because this is where we're going to start to find them, okay? Tomorrow's video is going to be about learning your marketplace and, and finding out what do they need. So today, here is what your action step is all about. Um, we, we must know ourselves before we know our marketplace. That is the bottom line. You cannot just say, well, I'm in health and wellness. I'm going to go find people in health and wellness. I, I, I am in, um, you know, debt re reconciliation. I'm going to go find people who are struggling with debt. You, this is not, um, this is not how it works. You have to get really specific and knowing you who you are because the language you use is going to be um, how you attract those who will want to work with you, okay? So first things first, I want you to name five things, five activities that you love doing. Name five activities that you love, love, love doing. Five activities. Next, I want you to name five places that you love. Five places, like where do you go on a regular basis? Do you go to the coffee shop? Do you travel? Do you go to the gym? Um, do you go do you have somewhere you go that's peaceful? Um, what are those five places that you love going? Maybe five places that you're gonna start taking pictures of yourself in. Um, places that you actually go to. Do you go to church? Do you, um, you know, what do you do? Do you, I don't know, do you go have a sport? Um, I guess that's in the activities, but um, where do you play your soccer, right? Um, the next, question I have for you is to name five objects that speak about who you are. So if someone were to think of you and they were to see something, would they go, oh, that reminds me of you. So like, I think for me, a lot of times when people see different personal growth and development books, they immediately think of me. I get a ton of messages from people saying, hey, Michelle, I came across this book. 
Um, you want to become known for something and you want to be able to take whatever you love doing and have people be reminded of you, okay? So what are five objects that speak to who you are, right? Do you collect seashells? Do you um, have baseball caps? You know, do you love coffee mugs? Like what are five things that, you know, people are like, oh, that reminds me of you, okay? And then the next one is to name five skills that you have. Five skills, you know, are you really good at being organized? Are you, um, are you good at um, coordinating um, Christmas decorations or holiday decorations? Are you good at planning parties? What are your five things that you're super good at doing? And you know that, right? Do you have a special way you fold sheets? I don't even know. But think about the five skills. And they can be as silly as possible. It doesn't even matter. Um, you could have a, a weird skill, you know, like some body thing you can do that nobody else can do. Maybe you're good at juggling. You know, maybe you're good at um, ice skating. I, I don't know what your skill is, but let's think about that, okay? And I want you to write these down. Then I want you to write out five things um, <clears throat> you connect to with your offer that you provide. You know, what is it that you are selling? You know, what are you promoting? What are you offering? What are five things and reasons why you connect to that so much? Like, get down to the why of it. You know, um, do you sell health and wellness products because you have an autoimmune condition and your purpose is to help them? Do you connect to it because you like the community of the people that, um, you know, what, what, are you, what are you thinking about, right? So what are you, what are you, why are you doing what you're doing? So what are five reasons why you connect to your offer? And I want you to identify your core message. Identify what your core message is. Like, what am I doing here? Why am I doing what I'm doing? And what do I want people to feel when they work with me? Like, what, what is my legacy? What am I leaving behind? Like, what is my core, core message? What am I really saying? I mean, I could be selling weight loss products, but am I selling weight loss products just because I want people to lose weight? or is because I want them to love the skin that they're in, or do I want them to feel more present in their life? What am I doing here? What am I offering? What is the real thing? What do I want people to feel when they work with me? More confident? Do I want them to feel more rebellious? Do I want them to feel financially confident? What do I want to do? I want you to like dive deep into this, and when you know this, and this is something you might have to come back to time and time again, um, and go through the layers of who you are because when you know that, the language about that process will come out of you and people will connect to it. You wanna send out a vibe so strong that people are like, I need that hair care product because I know I'm going to feel so much more confident when I'm talking to my husband. I'm going to you know, not doubt that he thinks I'm beautiful. Um, I just, I wanna be a better mom and so I know that um, if I'm more organized in my life, you know, whatever your thing is that you do, if you teach organization, if you, if you teach, um, mindset, I don't know what you teach, but if you get down to the core reason to why you are doing what you're doing, this is going to come out in your writing and how you talk to people and how you present your offers. Now, this is a very deep topic and we're only covering it over one day. I think we could probably work on this you know, for a week, I, I would think, right? So understand that this is something maybe you put in your notebook and you really come back to this time and time again and rework through these questions um, because this is going to help you to connect more to your audience. Now remember, all the answers we're asking you to provide, list them in the homework section under your name so we can come back and see your progress. So you'll see the homework section, your name, hit reply, and then list all of your answers underneath that section so that we can engage with you and, and help you to determine even further and dive deeper into why it is you're doing what you're doing so that we can um, help you to navigate when you're creating your actual funnel and email. All right, guys. Thank you.